Hi guys, Sussex EDC here. Having the ability to tie and attach items together is really useful and practical on a daily basis. In this video, I just want to explore what I think are some great EDC cordage choices. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. That really helps the channel grow and I'm really grateful for all of your support. So when it comes to cordage, for me, it really comes down to two choices. Uh, you've got paracord or you've got zip ties. Uh, both are strong and versatile and they're easy to carry. So with zip ties, you can get them in a variety of sizes and if you need wider options, you can still cut down the length uh, for ease of carry. Uh, they generally punch above their weight uh, for strength and ease of use for me. And you know, the, the, the material of them are, are pretty strong and durable. So as you can see, I normally carry a couple of smaller lightweight ties in my pouch uh, and these are just easy to roll up and tuck away and they're always ready to use. Another benefit of zip ties is that they're inexpensive. Uh, so they won't break the bank or make you think twice if you uh, if you need to use one you know because they're so uh, inexpensive yet you're quite happy just to, to use these as you need to so as you saw the other option uh, I have is paracord 550 uh, I've also gone for a luminous option here uh, this is just in case you need to see it in low light so once this has been exposed to light or the sun for some time this will then uh, glow paracord is extremely strong uh, for the weight, you know, everyone knows that, it's pretty uh, well known um, in bushcraft and EDC community. The internal strands can be stripped out and used separately, so it gives you lots of options. You know, you can cut a small uh, uh, length and then strip out the strands and use those as well. So as you can see, I normally buy a large roll, and then what I do is I cut off two or three metre um, strips of this, uh, and I find that it covers most daily tasks, uh, and it doesn't take up too much excessive space in a pouch or in a bag or, or pocket. Another carry option with paracord is to make up a bracelet or a lanyard uh, so that way you've always got the cordage on you uh, but it's not taking up space elsewhere. What I've done before, as you can see here, I have uh, one of these Altoid survival tins and I've just wrapped that in paracord as well. So it's just a really easy way just to keep it all neat and tidy uh, and you've got a good two or three metres length there ready to go. What you can also do with uh, paracord is you can uh, you know get a lighter and you can just burn the ends just to stop fraying, uh, just keeps them neat, neat and tidy. So uh, yeah, that's it really. It's it's quite a short little video again for you guys just to explore some cordage op uh, options. Uh, these are the options, and I think they tick most boxes. Uh, they're flexible, they're versatile, and they're strong enough for most temporary requirements. Uh, and they're easy to buy and and replace as well, and generally not too expensive. So uh, for EDC cordage uh, solutions, I think these really do tick most boxes. Uh, but just wondering, do you guys have any other suggestions? Uh, what do you guys carry? Because I'm always uh, wanting to learn about new things and, and try new EDC options. So if you guys have got some extra um, suggestions for me, put, put them below. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, I hope you found this useful. And if you haven't already uh, you know, explored these, give them, give them a try. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. Thanks for watching, guys.